uh, do the li uh, limestone. There you go. So you leave some One of our little jobs this morning. Concreted that slab in. Got some more advice from, from I was gonna do it, but Martin ended up doing for doing it, so it's been done properly. <laughs> and this afternoon we're gonna have a lesson on the wall. Here, here he is, the hero of the hour. <laughs> a well a well it tea break well it's dinner time now so 12 o'clock oh there's hey, hey, hey come here <laughs> yeah he's, <laughs> he's been for his walk can't he? he's on his way back come on here yeah just put the yeah. put that door up against there is it uh, yeah somewhat to uh, your nosy little i don't think uh, come on matey come sail out here you're all right we're not we're not worried we're not worried we just don't want you treading in things that you didn't ought to yeah you pretty little boy, aren't you? Happy little chap. <laughs> Come on, you little sod. It looks like we want to be. We want on, to be in this. No, 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 this way. Come on. Go find Dad. Go find Pedro. Here yeah, now. I know. They all come and say loud, out there. Come, come on. Go find Dad. I bet he's halfway up the lane. Still coming. <laughs> no, it's because of walls, don't we? Oh, oh yeah. I forgot about it. So the, it's going to be. The dog can get yeah, you're going to be saying low all the time, aren't you? Come on, out there. Hey. Andika, I ain't wait. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Pedro, I have a friend, mi amigo. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Well, we've got uh, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, we've got thirteen beans. Thirteen. That's unlucky, isn't it? <laughs> it'll be what it'll be, won't it? That's the famous saying here. Yeah. And well, we're have gonna have some. Have, have you seen how they go together? Not properly. I, I, I can sort of work out in my head. I sort of spaced out like so far, and then yeah. the block sits actually in them. So when you look underneath, it will just be uniform. Relative, be uniform. Smooth. Oh right. Oh that. There's a lip. Is the same. Is the same distance as the as the, as the blocks that go in there. So it'll all, so you'll only see really a line of, a gap, a gap of where something joins together, just one line sort of thing. Yeah, you, you'll, you'll see, you'll see all the bricks underneath. Right. It's all, it's all be at the same, same level. Same level, right. And how, do, how would they normally tidy that up afterwards from the underside if they're fussy? Uh, plaster it or... Oh, or, or, oh they do plaster it to there. Or you can uh, uh, put plasterboard up. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wish how it goes, that's... It's just getting a roof on it for the time being, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we're bothered yeah. about, isn't yeah. it? it, it uh, we're not that fussy yet. And when then once, it, and then once the concrete's poured over the top, you won't yeah. see nothing go over the top. It'll no, just be, just, just so your. It'll just be uh, uh, you know, a, a board. And on so the top, top when the top's done, yeah. What um, we just paint it. Yeah, render it and paint it. Yeah. What, what happened is the block, the board, the the concrete beams are sit across here. Yeah. And then the the block work, yeah, uh, we got some separate. They got a closed end. Right, all right, gotcha. So that'll so tidy everything. Basically, it'll be a closed end all the way along. So it'll be similar to to this. But so you just give it a you just give it a light render. Yeah, gotcha. All the way along, and then paint it. Then it looks looks a business end, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the and the top when when it's concreted, you've yeah. got your slab on there. Yeah. We're painting that, aren't we? Is there a selection of colours, or is it standard colour for Portugal? <laughs> What's that for the for the finished for the title of paint on top? Yeah, you can you, you can buy different colours. All oh, right, uh, paint to go over the top on on the roof. You can. Yeah. Do. What what would is there a local area colour that people are using? You know the top the top there. They have villages have different colours. Some have white, some have mm. grey, some have. You can have white, grey, uh, yellow. Um, and it main. Yeah. Or your main or primary colour. All oh, right. Sort of yeah. Main, main yeah. I've got you. And it's but, like a, it's like a, almost like a, like a garage floor type paint. Right, yeah, it's rubberized of some sort or some protective. Uh, no, if you want it rubberized, uh, there's, there, there is a, a product on Pro the market. Proper one, right. Um, which is what they use on the tanks, on the water tanks. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. I've uh, seen, I've so, seen it. Yeah. yeah, it's about, it's about 
90 something odd euros or whatever it is yeah. in the bag so it's quite yeah it's expensive. quite expensive well it's doing a good job isn't it yeah, yeah i've seen i've seen a few on youtube lining the making their own tanks and lining them that usually do it with blue and then of course the, the local uh, authorities can find them and charge them can't charge they them as a swimming pool, yeah. yeah yeah i won't be doing more drama today with uh, the blocks and the beam the beams got ready to fit them realized they weren't long enough so the blocks are all ready to receive them uh, Odin will just stop for a couple of the blasting holes in the wall down here to rest the beams on there if and when they come in that corner there's been some remedial work because like this corner all's cracking and it's got to be pinned to make it safe so they cut in a groove put in some pins rebar pins bent like a, a giant staple and put plenty of gobbo back in that should not pull that corner too or hold it in place because we're now because we can't do anything until them beans get exchanged rather than standing them all down and doing nothing we've decided to make a start on putting the window in this wall which is this one which would be nice on that far wall there uh, Pedro is happy with us to do it because in Portugal you have to ask permission if it's overlooking someone's neighbor, neighbours but it's on his garden more than his house so he won't worry, bless him. So Martin and Paul's starting to have a go at that but the floor is not safe enough really with all that weight so Mark's gone to get an acro prop to support this beam although it's coming out eventually um, at the moment it's moving so we need to acro that. So all that weight's took off where Martin's working. But it'll all be sorted out in the fullness of time like these projects are. Right. Oh, it's quite... Uh, it looks like it wants to run away with it, so you, I'll shoot him in the back and get on quick. <laughs> When you put it on, yeah, you go like that, yeah, forty five, and then you you go as you go up, you bring tilt it, in. it, tilt the, yeah. It's a feeling. It's a feeling more than actual. It's, it's difficult to actually teach you, but it's the feeling of how much you're putting on at the time. Right, because yeah, you, you're losing as it goes on the wall, so you've got to change your angle, and you to yeah, to, to, could, to yeah, yeah, to, to feather it off sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah. When you get to the top like this, yep. what you can do is... I'll do it the other way around. Do it the other way around. Yeah. And you, squeeze it, you squeeze it up. Right. Oh yeah, it's running up against that the beam, isn't it? It suddenly took, suddenly took the foam out, out the equation. Oh, that's, I'll see where that's going. With, with my bad head. <laughs> right, we're back filming with Martin. And this is what the footballers call the magic sponge. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's all about timing. Yes, it is. 
Um, some of the areas like this, it's yeah. wet, it's still too wet to, to, uh, to do. To so that'll be okay after lunch now. Yeah. But the uh, centre bit, I wanted to, on this bottom bit here, I wanted to just get it over. Before it gets too hard. Yeah. Still, space that can be. Well, you, got, you got the yeah. you got the idea. Of it, yeah, you? yeah, that's that's spot on. I mean, I'm when we've got that sorted out, one I'm going to be attempting to do that other side, and I'll I'll just see at the end of end of play. You'll have to just stick well, your head is, around the corner and see. This is going to be yeah, a big big, uh, big difference to yeah. your wife. Maybe. Oh, crack! It will be. Yeah, yeah this will be see. a big difference. I mean, it's all blends in now with yeah. all your woodwork and yeah, that's that's uh, and everything else. Uh, yeah. That's what I wanted to show the. It, it can be done, right? It's just muck, our muck and muscle episodes are, are all just filth all the time. To have some actually near enough finished, all right, we've got to paint it and everything, but it, it's a clean, sealed room, then, isn't it? Yeah. That was a bit that I was sort of aiming at this and the bedroom yeah. this time round. And then you yeah. take it from there. Well, what your guys are doing with the roof and whatnot, they're sealing the house from a lot of the yeah. crap and the, uh, the bat poo and things like that <laughs> but it's i mean it'd be lovely to open the door up and yeah you know it being clean, a little bit yeah. cleaner in one or two places wouldn't it it's, yeah. it is i mean you, you can sweep through every, at the end of every day but the next day it's the same again isn't it so it's, 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 it's yeah a lot, there's a lot of dust yeah and right dust. we'll call that it for the for the time being have a bit of din dins and okay we'll have a look after dinner shall we Beam in for the window. I'll take it down and cut the beam up and knock the hole a little bit bigger. Hopefully it, it'll push in alright. Two beams from the onside, internally they're done, and two from the outside, and then we can start taking the start taking the brickwork down underneath to fit the window in. Beam number two going up. Well, beam number two from this side. There's two already fitted from the inside, but they were easy to fit. Rather than clambering up ladders and wrestling with the grapes. Side of the fence. Oh, well, I'll fetch you, Emma. Sorry, boys, I should have been helping. Oh, yeah. Rather yeah. than watching. Okay. Ta -da. Well done, lads.
my first attempt at doing the wall. Now this corner might just come with these corner pieces. So I'm gonna hopefully hopefully Martin will help me set one up. Show me how to put one in. And then I can carry on. All good fun. Have some moving pictures, can't we? Right, so Martin's lined up my corner piece. And he's just showing me the basics of getting it in situ to wipe the, uh, the obvious wiggliness, wiggliness of the wall. <laughs> oh, no, quirkiness, that's the word of the day. Quirky, quirky. Quirky, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we like quirky. Oh, that's uh, yeah, and you can see you can see the big gaps in some of it, can't you? That's well, take yeah, quite, I mean, that's, take that's, quite what, that's what these these are for. They hold yeah. they oh. hold a multitude of sins, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Give you the yeah. about the light. When you've got it all on there, that that will hold in place. Because see, it's sort of springy a little bit, but well, that, yeah, I've done the one side, but yeah. now I'm doing the other side as well. That will uh, that will hold it. Hold Try it to hold it all in, so it's got a chance of drying. Yeah. Squeezing it into the hole, see. Yeah. I've got you. So it, it is going to spring at the moment, but once it's, once it's actually into the holes, it won't spring anymore. Gotcha. You're climbing corners, you can see quite a difference in. Well, as I said before, um, sometimes sometimes your walls aren't straight, so they like that or yeah. like that. Yeah, you're... So you'll get you'll get this bit then, sticking out anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think I get the gist of where we're at with that one. Yeah, so that's then, uh, that's one of them. I'll do yeah. I'll have to do the same again on that corner, tidy that up. Yeah, we did do this corner mate. Right. Oh, are you we're gonna, you're gonna do this one with me? Well, you can do this one. Well, I don't I don't hold you up. One, I'll let you I'll let you do one more. <laughs> then I'll do the third one. Uh, one seventy-two. One seventy-two. So this is a cheating way. I mean, basically, um, uh, some people will take the time and actually drill Get holes it. and put more plugs in and screws and all. Sorts. Yeah. But as long as it stays there when you're doing it, it's not going to go anywhere. Now, once once she's dried and everything, it's uh, 
each time you're getting a bit stronger with the structure of everything, aren't you? When you start bolting things together and the dry off. This is purely, this is purely to stop your corner from snapping it from from chipping. Yeah. That's all it is. And it would do realistically, wouldn't it? Without that, there. There's yeah, no two ways. Yeah. No two ways about it. Not so it, much with this stuff. This stuff is quite tough. Yeah. But you've got heavy traffic going back and forth here. You can catch it. Yeah. You know, you're going to catch it. Yeah. It's unavoidable. It's unavoidable. So this process, there's no, there's no point where you let it go off. You need to get it all up to this point done. Right. Well, no, when you're doing it normally, yeah. this is the first thing you do. You put the corners in. Yeah. Yeah. To give them a chance to set. And then by the time you've done all this, that'll be set. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. That'll be set. So. So. It won't. It, it won't. It won't be too too long. Stops going, goes off. Yeah. Of course, one leads to another. I need to get that other corner. Yeah. Fit your doubter. Yeah. But that'll give me a nice smooth end to that that wall, won't it? Because yeah. I've filled it in with gobbo along the way. And there is some pins in one or two of them as well because I was thinking about the door, the the door catch on it, but. I don't really know where you'll bother. You just have to sing loud when you're in the bathroom, aren't you? <laughs> Now, I know all you people in YouTube land has watched Martin perform on this wall, but before you continue here, Martin, will you please tell everyone that this internal wall, up to this point, I did. You did, indeed. But well, it's not looking too bad at all. 